Hey my witches, I'm coming to you once again in my PJs to talk to you about my decks for the month of August. So these are the decks that I'm working with for the month of August. It kind of has a Victorian kind of steampunky theme this month. The first one I'm working with is a deck that I got back in January, but I've been holding off working with it and getting to know it. Um, but it is the Steampunk Tarot. That's the book there. Um, the book's written by Barbara Moore. And the artist, do I have the artist on here? It should be in the back or something. Um, hmm. Oh, Allie Fell is the artist. Um, so the book itself is pretty good. Um, it's nice and thick. Um, it's very nicely illustrated. It's got uh, a full page thumbnail of the card, and then it's got, you know, a nice... Um, right up for each one um, and I love the little borders around everything it's a really good nice book um, I definitely would recommend it especially if you are you know um, pretty if you're fairly new to tarot I think it's a nice little guidebook um, it's nice when they have like uh, I, I really like it when they always put like a chunky guidebook with things so I'm really liking this deck um, like I said I just you know kind of started working with it that's the back there and I love sort of the, the Victorian theme. That's one of my favorite themes. So we've got swords. The star kind of has a bit of an Art Nouveau feel to it. Uh, the swords has kind of um, very much like an aeronautic sort of feel. Um, strength. I love that there's sort of a mix of the steampunk styles in this. Uh, let's see, we've got wands, magician. The Knight of Pentacles. There we go. The Hermit. Wheel, Fortune, love all the clocks and gears and things. Two of Cups is really nice. It's a lovely deck, especially if you like this style. Um, I know some people think it's a bit novelty-ish, but I actually am really enjoying this deck. Um, so I'm going to be working with this one for the month of August. And I'm coupling that with, I always pair with a Lenormand deck. Uh, this is the classic Lenormand. So that's the back there. That's there. And it's also, it's got a Victorian style to it. I mean, the classic Lenormand harkens back to, you know, sort of 19th century Lenormand cards. So it's definitely got that vibe. So I think it matches really well with the steampunk tarot. There we go, because it's got that old-fashioned sort of vibe. And then for the Oracle deck that I am putting with it, I'm using the Vintage Wisdom Tarot, or Vintage Wisdom Oracle, pardon me. I wish there was a tarot deck with this, that would be awesome, by Victoria Mosley. Um, this is just a beautiful Oracle deck. I got it last year, and I have to say I just adore working with it. Um, she collaged from actual... Um, postcards. There we go. That one's got a pre raphaelite influence, obviously. A lot of them do, actually. Some of them are a little more Edwardian looking, but that's okay. We're, you know, keeping it kind of gentle. So I find, like, pairing all of these together, the energy between them works really well. It's a very nostalgic um, kind of and a bit of, there's a bit of whimsy. This also can, I find that all of three of these working together really gives a lot of depth. And I also find it's a very feminine um, type uh, energy of them working together. Although I find the steampunk uh, one has sort of a bit of a masculine turn to it too. So it sort of balances that. Whereas this deck is, I feel, a lot more feminine. There's onions. So those are the ones that I'm working with. I'll show the back. The back is just stunning. Beautiful. Those are the ones that I'm working with right now for the month of August. You know, August, I always find it's like, you know, the end of summer. I think it brings out a lot of nostalgia in people. 
Um, you know, we're starting to get, you know, the evenings, the, the darkness is starting to come a little bit sooner, but we're still in, in summer. So I find it's just, I don't know why, but just that sort of nostalgia all leads me towards, you know, kind of going with the Victorian and the romantic at this time of year. So if you're interested in getting a reading at all with these cards, um, you can check out my Etsy shop um, for the various types of readings and things below. I'm doing phone readings. I'm doing... Um, I'm doing email readings and I'm also doing video readings and those are definitely my most popular ones so if you're interested in all take a look at that but otherwise you know if you work with any of these let me know what you think of these and have which ones do you kind of pair them with if you pair them with any at all I'd love to hear about it wait anyway, thank you very much and have a wonderful evening bye